Hey there, Gemini, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, it looks like sunny and super childlike for a second day in a row for the ambassadors of the Zodiac, the Geminis. That's because the moon is in Libra and full today. And this brings up a topic that I'm going to introduce now in the Soul Garden, which is the full moon releasing ceremony. Now, remember on Lightcast Day, the sun and moon are together, and that's the day where we put our intention out for the month. And for Geminis this month, their intention is to change their social status. You guys are upgrading your cars, you're going platinum in your Visa cards, you're getting new titles on your business cards. It's not just about cards, but circle of friends, it's everything. You're upgrading how society sees you, how you operate in society. So on New Moon, like Cast Day, Geminis are putting out the intention, I want all this stuff. But in your pursuit of that stuff, crap, crap bubbled up, right? You have this bad relationship with this person, you got bad credits, so you can't get the car. Things bubble up that are in the way. By the time the moon swings around to be full, 180 degrees from where it was, it's pulling now on the sun and it's full and it's making us emotional. So your inner child is really hungry now for this status to happen, for these changes to happen. And that is the energy we take advantage for a releasing ceremony, okay? By releasing, I mean we want to release back to God universe or back to Mother Earth all the issues that are in the way of you getting what you want in society. So you want to release your bad credit. You want it to be new and good. You want to release a certain friend that's toxic. You want to release a certain attitude that people have about you in society. You don't like that you get called that, so to speak. Write it on a piece of paper. I like physical ritual because I think physical ritual makes it real. Write it on a piece of paper and burn it. Give it back to God. Or put that energy into a candle and say to the universe, by the time this candle is burnt, I'm no longer going to be worried about credit. I'm no longer going to worry about my friendship to Joanne or Bob or whoever the person is. I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. I'm letting it go, letting it flow so I can make room for chapter three, which is light casting what I really wanted and started with my intention. One last thing, by the way, Jupiter has now moved into chapter three as well. As you probably know, Jupiter is our fortune. It's where we expand. This year, Jupiter is in Aquarius, which means that Geminis are expanding their intellect this year. And by expanding your intellect and expanding your wisdom, fortune will come. Well, I'm here to tell you that we're past all the hard parts of the transit. As of now through summer, if you expand, you should get near immediate results. So try it and tell me how it works. All right, Gemini, that's all I got for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So